Hi everybody, it's Chrissy Sawyer here. Excited and nervous simultaneously because um, I'm going to do something new today. Um, so I mentioned in my last video what I want to start doing is um, monthly or maybe bi-monthly astrology readings for each sign. And I'm working on the schedule. Obviously, I've got to, you know, work it around client work um, and personal work. So um, I'm not going to put anything out there until I can solidify it. Um, don't want to lead you down the wrong path. But <laughs> that said, what I want to do is to bring the end of February into March bracket and I want to get those out, hopefully by the end of this week. That's what I want. So without any ado, um, I'm going to begin with Cardinal Leadership. And we're going to begin with Aries. I am. Okay. Aries, as we know, is ruled by fire. And Aries represents the first house the house of the body, the physical, okay. So Aries is cardinal fire, cardinal leader. A balanced Aries will lead with a kind of quiet modesty and humility, knowing that their power is within. An Aries that's working on achieving their balance might kind of in trying to prove a point might beat you into submission. <laughs> um, might lead beyond reason, um, but they're not short of fire and they're not short of creativity. Okay, so reading for Aries. Um, I'm not gonna do lengthy readings. So I've pre-drawn the first three cards and I'll draw a conclusion card from the beautiful animal beasties deck. So let's look at your current energy, Aries. Oh, what are you in? You're gaining mastery. So this is giving me mastery over the feminine. Um, and actually, I think we have Chiron. Um, we have Chiron in a meeting with Saturn at the moment. And that's like self-healing. This is first house. So it's going to be in the physical world. But I can't ignore this big glowing pink heart here. So Aries, are you in some healing energy? Are you working to allow, surrender, move with? to lead and be led, to rest and recuperate, to rejuvenate and to rebirth. This feels like a turning point. I feel it in my solar plexus, um, which doesn't surprise me. You know, that's the fire center. So it looks like your current energy is finding space to rest and rejuvenate because you're moving through into rebirth. This is big. Oh, <laughs> okay. So um, your available potential. So this is what's kind of just on the horizon. It's quite close actually. I can see it, it's quite close. Is um, the turnaround. This is the birth. Um, this is new ways to self-govern, new ways to self-love, new ways to relate in the world. Um, personal revolution, wow, what are you bringing? And you're leading the, the wheel, thank you Aries. <laughs> Nicely done. So this is the breakthrough. Um, amazing. So 
you currently have the potential to create a revolution within you and around you. And to do that from a rested place, a centered place, grounded, calm, loving. This is new. Wow. Hmm. I can see a lion in this card. So I just want to name check. We've got Leo coming in here, another fire sign. We'll see what comes out in Leo's reading, but beautiful balancing of the upper world, the external world and the lower world, the within world, the inner landscape. Look at the balance in there. Look at the mirroring. So self is now coming out into the world. God, I really get the sense you've done some serious work, Aries, to, you've heard me say, build the inner cathedral. Blossoming. Okay, and I don't want to bring you a beautiful dreamy reading with that challenge. So I've named this third card, which you've got two. <laughs> challenge for success. Okay, so this kind of hinges upon the, if you do that and if you're in this, then what is what that is going to challenge you to become? Visionaries don't tend to move with the pack. So there's your first challenge. What I'm hearing with this card is, um, I have my heart, that's all I need. It's that simple. She doesn't look nervous or wobbly or shaky or alone in the world. She's looking the world straight in the eye all that love, all that centered heart, higher heart as well, purity and innocence, visionary connection to higher self. And I might ask you, what is your relationship with success? Because six is about heart. <laughs> um, it's the grail, the cup, it's balance, it's yin and yang, um, saint or sinner. So, yeah, I can actually see that. It's like you're being handed a pot of gold. And what is your relationship with success? <laughs> Aries, as a fellow fire sign, I don't know if this helps, but December last year, I got this loud message in my ear that says, are you braced for success? What is your plan? Do you have a framework created to catch it? <laughs> and this year is just like, well, this week is big. There's lots of stuff landing. So I got to look at my structures. I got to look at my, well, management really. So yes, your challenge for success is to be the visionary and to have a look at your relationship with success because our fear of failure tends to equate to our fear of success. Um, I talked about this the other day, didn't I? Um, what did I say? Our relationship with success is directly relative to our relationship with failure or what we perceive as failure, okay? So we have the, generally we have the rebirthing of the inner child, the free child. Um, who isn't afraid of success? Who isn't afraid to break stuff down? Okay. So we're going to go probable outcome. And the beasties, please. That's too many. I'll take that one, but that's too many. And you still get two. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Cool. There's two energies here. 
one is very physical. It's right in the bottom of the gut. And Is there any clutter around success? Yes, but can you hear any of that? Is there any conditional acceptance to success or is your heart wide open, bring it? Okay, so this can be internal clutter, uh, narratives that aren't serving you. And it can be physical clutter because we've got uh, Venus heavily aspected at the moment, which is what I love in my home, it's my home. You know, it's your home and what you love and what gives you joy versus I've got to keep that vase there because it's three generations old. I don't really like it, but um, so it can be in the physical. And 28101 is birth, you're birthing in a big way, visionaries. Eight. This is such a beautiful number as well, 35. That's, it's what I'm seeing is literally bringing down the new blueprint into the five energy of 2021 and really behaving unilaterally in a new way. This is huge, Aries. This is huge. So then this card is trust. In capital letters, um, spirit, your God self, your highest self. What I sense you're coming into alignment with. Has a plan that will be revealed in small modules. Trust, flow. <laughs> Clear out the clutter. Wow, so crikey, Aries. Yeah, current energy in healing, rest, rejuvenate, self love. Because what's on the horizon is the turnaround, new self governance, new who you are, new relating to the world, revolution. Okay, challenge to success. Look at your relationship with being a visionary. Look at your relationship with success, okay? And probable outcome is alignment with higher self and pulling down the plan. Clearing out the clutter, you know, you've heard me say a hundred times, as we pull in the light into the physical, it will hit every layer of resistance until it's got a smooth channel in, that's heaven to earth, okay? But there's success on the horizon for you here. There's no two ways about it. So brilliant, Aries. Um, fantastic. That is it. Short, sharp and sweet. I'm going to move on to the next sign. And I'll see you again in a short while. Lots of love. Take care. Please like, share, subscribe. I love you.